Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Judgment card, and this is Scorpio energy, so this is a card of transformation. It is also a card of getting, you know, big news from someone, so someone could be revealing something to you that really transforms your mindset or the way you view them and the way you deal with the situation. Um, this is introducing an opportunity for a second chance or a rebirth um, or whatever you want, because with the Judgment card, that is an energy of you you having power to change a situation, you know, through you having the deciding power. So it's like you're having to make a judgment call about something based on the information that has been presented to you. It looks like a major breakthrough is happening here for you. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Hermit, Virgo energy, the King of Swords, air energy, and we have the Page of Cups, water energy. So there is, again, someone will be delivering a real truth to, truth to you. Um, they are going to be direct and um, transparent with you. The King of Swords is someone who is, you know, they, they're kind of like just telling you something matter of fact, and it's up to you whether you want to take it or leave it. Um, it does look like this could be someone new that you, you or the relationship could be relatively new. Um, or, you know, this could be someone who you've been separated from for a while. You know, there's this feeling of an opportunity for a renewal or, you know, you having to make a choice whether you want to see this through or not. Um, the Page of Cups does show a feeling of infatuation. So that's why it, it could be a new person or someone that, you know, you've been dealing with for a short period of time up until now. And um, this person is like uh, laying down the truth, you know, the facts, you know, presenting themselves authentically, um, putting up boundaries, what they want out of this, making their intentions very clear and known to you. Um, and then we have the hermit and um, this is you really having to kind of sit on what this person is telling you. Um, it looks like you are gonna take your time before making a decision because it's, it looks like it's, it's quite a lot to process whatever this person is telling you. And um, there's this energy of really wondering if you can handle this you know the hermit is a very mature energy so it does look like you're you're trying your best to deal with this in a mature way how would a securely attached person respond so it looks like you are going to kind of contemplate and meditate on whatever this person is revealing to you so let's clarify these cards um sagittarius Okay, so we have the tower and this is Mars energy, Scorpio, Aries energy. So this is a shocking energy. So it looks like whatever this person is revealing to you, it's almost like you're not expecting it. You know, this is why we even see that hermit energy. You may even withdraw a bit, you know, just to take some time to really process. Uh, the tower is like a shocking revelation or something happening abruptly or coming out of nowhere. Okay, so let's see. We have the King of Swords, again, Air Energy, the Knight of Wands, Fire Energy, and the High Priestess, Pisces Energy. Yeah, so yeah, this person is really, there's a truth they need to reveal to you, something that they didn't, that they, they withheld from you, because the High Priestess can be a secretive energy, you know, or it can be just something they didn't 
it could even be a side of them that they didn't show to you and it's now being revealed like it's coming out and it's like this person is becoming comfortable enough to take off the mask to be authentic with you and it's up to you if you are um if you like what you're seeing you know because it does look like you're having to make a decision about this relationship whether you want to move forward with this or if you also want to it looks like you may also be putting up your own boundaries with the king of swords like you're matching this person they're coming in with this transparent direct bold take me as i am energy and you are matching that you know you're also making it clear that you have your boundaries too and you're making it clear what you will and won't tolerate so you guys could be having a very productive communication where it's like you guys are not holding back you know there's no sweeping anything under the rug this is very blunt real you know keeping it real with each other so that you guys can define this relationship in a very honest and authentic way okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you sagittarius Okay, we have bring love into the situation new moon in aquarius okay so there's that aquarius energy and we have this king of swords energy so while you guys are being very real with each other very transparent and direct don't forget to also come from a place of emotional honesty you know because the king of swords can be kind of unemotional very bottom line matter of fact um but this is speaking of a romantic relationship so there is a message here to not negate your feelings you know to not hide your feelings because you know this is you know it's like you want to take all of these things into account and um, it does look like it's it, it may be more to your benefit to also show love if you have love for this person okay so i'm gonna pull out another card for you Okay, we have new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings so for most of you it looks like this is a new person this relationship is relatively new this is someone you're still getting to know um you guys are it's like it looks like you guys know each other already but it's like the relationship is still kind of progressing in its earlier stages and you are finding out new information about this person and you know as you're going along and there's a specific something that they're telling you that is kind of unexpected or shocking that you, you are finding out. And, you know, it looks like um, this truth of this person's may also require some compassion and empathy. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have destiny it is not in the stars to hold our destiny but in ourselves so you still have the power to to make this relationship healthy you know it, it's very dependent on how you react to this moment because it looks like whatever this is the situation this truth this specific encounter with the judgment card show up it has the potential to really transform this connection and that can be for the better or for the worse so it, there is this energy of knowing that your words have power your responses are influential so you know really take the time if you need to go into hermit mode to reflect before responding or reacting there is that advice here to do that because you know you you do have an impact here on this the trajectory of this um, relationship Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Sagittarius. Okay. 
Okay, we have surrender your fear of change. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health, or a relationship, or if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Sagittarius. I hope you have a really, really good day, Sagittarius. Bye, Sagittarius.